Hey guys, listen up because I'm going to give you the most important golf secret you're ever going to hear in today's video. Over the top. Over the top. Right over the top. Over the top. You just heard Jim McLean, Butch Harmon, Tom Watson, and Johnny Miller all talk about swinging over the top. Almost every golf instructor in the world today will tell you that's not the right way to swing, and I'm here to tell you it's the best way to swing. Hey guys, Christo Garcia. You probably caught me on the Golf Channel swinging as Ben Hogan. And today I'm going to tell you why swinging over the top is the very best way to swing a golf club. First, I'll go over why you want to swing over the top. Second, I'm going to go over the best swings past and present that swung over the top. And finally, I'm going to let the biggest names in golf explain to you why it's such a great idea to swing over the top as long as you just do it correctly. So prepare to get your mind blown because this is the over the top miracle swing. Yeah. Tell me what you worked on there. I wor what I worked on there was trying to get as far back as I could inside, tried to stay down through the ball. Do you think uh, you picked up some yardage since we've been working uh, on this stuff? On the driver, at least 50 to 60 yards. It's dynamite. It's crazy. First, every major athletic motion is over the top. Whether you're throwing a baseball, a football, serving a tennis ball, or knocking somebody out, you're going to go over the top, okay? The reason why is the shoulder is designed that way, and it's how you can create the most leverage. That's why beginners and kids all swing over the top initially until some bad instructor comes along and says, hey, that's not the right way you do it. You got to go this way. It's ruined millions of golfers' golf swings, unfortunately. Second, did you notice the top three players in the PGA Championship all have over-the-top golf swings? Brooks Kepka, Scotty Scheffler, and Victor Hovland are all examples of great OTT swings that I've featured on my channel. But if you go back in time and look at Bobby Jones, Sam Snead, and Ben Hogan, they all had OTT motions in transition as well. So if all these great golfers did it, why don't teachers teach it today? Everybody's talking about taking it up, shallowing out, and dropping it under. It's just nuts. I think that's the worst way to swing a golf club. Tiger Woods and Colin Morikawa, they're not shallowing it out. So let's listen to some of the most famous golf teachers and major champions talk about the over-the-top miracle swing. Now here's the scary thing. If Litsky was playing now, he was a young, say 14, 15 year old student, a lot of teachers would change this swing. They'd say, hey, you can't play with that swing. You're taking it too far to the inside and it's closed. As we talk about serious teaching, not BS teaching, but what really makes you hit the golf ball well, it's very obvious that it's not the backswing. And then the third is where the club goes in and over but it goes over right on plane. And that's what Bruce Litsky did. Well, Litsky used this type of swing, as did many other great players like Sam Snead, Bobby Jones, currently J.B. Holmes, Craig Stadler, to play great golf. And that's the analysis I'm gonna show you right now. Now, this is the move that people see. It's the obvious move. It's the loop to the outside. And it looks like an over-the-top move. So we'll look at that again. We've got his wrist position right there, bowed, and then the loop over the top. He has probably the strangest practice swings of anybody that plays the tour with all these crazy drills that he does. The one where he looks like he's coming over the top and coming over the top. That's really because his fault is that he gets his right arm too far behind him and gets stuck coming down and hits some shots out to the right. 
I got tired of hitting the ball fat. I got tired of hitting the ball out to the right. And I said, to hell with it. I'm going to hit over, I'm going to hit over the top of it like this. I want that ball to start straight. I don't want it to start out here and go out to the right like that anymore. So I changed my golf swing right then and there, and it felt like this. <laughs> it felt like that. But, in, but what happened, it was going here and here like this. I thought about Corey Pavin at that time. And I said, you know, the way Corey Pavin makes his practice swing is he takes, his, he takes the club back, and then he comes well, I can, right over the top like this in his practice swing. He goes inside and like this. ball well forward and he has a little come over the top he'll pull it inside the plane going back inside and then over to the top and keep the face a little open and plays that power cut big man last time you see that swing is in a pro-am with a guy who's about 15 handicap and just over the top cups it at the bottom and hits it unbelievably good it doesn't look if ben hogan saw that he'd puke But in talking about the way that he, no, he did not play a fade way back. Hmm. But all of a sudden, his brother, this is the kind of player he is. His brother said, you know, you, you need to start learning to fade the ball now. So he just transformed him. No problem. Okay, I'll just aim down the left side and come over a little bit. And there it goes. He's, Bruce is always in the fair, fairway. Now, the question is, is this over the top? And my answer to that would be, depends on what you mean by over the top. If you mean that the hands are looping from more behind, see the hands are here, right? If we mark it, if you mean that the hands are looping toward the head and out, so you can see that that's definitely a a loop there, right? So, if you mean that's over the top, I guess so, but that gives a, a negative connotation to something here that's really working nicely. So guys, there you have it. That's the over the top miracle swing. Now I want you to play the best golf of your life. So grab a short iron, Take the club back deep and up to the inside. Now I want you to go over the top and hit down on the ball as hard as you can. You are going to compress the ball like you never have before in your life. And if you want to learn more about the over the top miracle swing, go to miracleswingexperience.com and feel compression like you never have before. I'm Christo Garcia and I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. The old PGA pros, they had this much simpler kind of wisdom. Guys, I've created the biggest controversy in modern golf by insisting swinging over the top is the best way to swing a golf club. The entire golf industry is trying to teach people to go the opposite way, and I think that's terrible. First of all, the greatest champions from the past all swung over the top. Golfers like Bobby Jones, Sam Snead, and Arnold Palmer all took the club back to the inside and swung over the top. Number two, beginners and juniors instinctively swing the club over the top because it's the most natural. It's just like throwing a ball. That's why they do it. You just have to learn to do it the correct way and you will hit the most powerful shots you've ever hit in your life. I guarantee it. Do TT. <laughs> Thank you, man. So I want to send you three free lesson videos that will teach you the over-the-top miracle swing that I teach my students. I shot a 72 at Balboa. It feels like you can't miss. This swing is taking the world by storm, and I want you to be a part of this movement. So click the link in the description below and take advantage of these free videos because I'm not going to have this offer up for very long. As soon as we get enough golfers on board around the world that are spreading this message, I'm going to close it down. OGT! But I want you to be a part of this movement and I want you to hit them long and hit them straight.